Alright, so, um, a couple of days ago, I know for a fact that, um, when I seen people saying, like, this is the last day of summer vacation, this is the last day of us having fun, the last n night of summer, of summer vacation, and then I was all like, wow, like, us, like, I don't even get summer, summer vacation anymore, and it's sad, really. I don't even get summer vacation no more, and I gotta go to work all the time, and then there's always kids saying, like, man, I do not want to go back to school. I wish I could have longer days of summer vacation, and I wish, I, I wish I could go back to being a kid. Being a kid was way better now. I mean, the thing is, when you when you graduate school, you are you are like excited to be out of school. But then after that, all the memories just kind of hit different after a little while. And yes, I I'm the one who's starting to miss school. One of my favorite years was seventh, eighth freshman year, and the end of junior year was was alright. But senior year was was the best. So I hated my sophomore year, but still, it just feels weird not being in school no more because you're gonna explore your life and the thing is this is this is actually a part of growing up the part of growing up is that you just gotta see what where, where, where your life takes you like what's gonna happen to you in in the future are you gonna be a youtuber a cartoonist a chef or a baker or you can have your own business like that's how life is gonna be when, when you get older and as you grow up time goes way too fast you see I looked up why does time go fast and it has something to do with age and um, motivation and it's just crazy that time goes goes too fast and I've even looked it up like why does time go too fast I'm pretty I'm pretty sure when you're a child your adult your childhood goes slower it even says right here as people get older the brains receive fewer images as they get when they were younger and and they and, and they process similar days weeks together this can make them feel like time has passed more quickly the human brain is also designed to progress time using memorable events which can be difficult as people age because these events become less frequent stress when people are stressed their brains become more alert and progress similarly details more which can make time feel longer gravitational time I can't really read this right so I'm not going to but yeah time does go way too fast it's like I remember a couple years ago actually this was a little, little more than a couple years ago like I was in middle school now I'm out of school and I have a job that I've been I've been there for three years now and it's crazy because it's it's just it's insane and all your friends that been to that school it's awesome like I remember I was one of the most popular kids in school like everyone knew who I was there was even kids from out of town that, that even knew me like I didn't even know them for that long and they and they loved me just as much as they did as I as I was and in the times when I was in school and being in school is like you hate being in school but the thing is you just gotta be going to school because People go to school usually for like future plans and like something like that. And schools have pretty much changed like over the times. Like the other school that I used to go to, we didn't get we didn't get like Chromebooks till when I was like um, around fifth grade because before fifth grade we didn't ha we didn't had Chromebooks. Like schools had Chromebooks at the times, we just didn't get Chromebooks. We had we we um had still had internet, but I but we also in technology we had like um typing. That's pretty much how 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 they um teach you the old school way is like um typing, because like some schools today just don't like they don't like want to do that because they don't care. There's even some kids that don't even know who Christopher Columbus is because schools don't want to teach them, teach them that no more I I met a kid that was like who's Martin Luther King I was like what and I was like man they don't even teach kids these stuff in school anymore there's some kids that those kids that don't even know what a dictionary is encyclopedia like a globe because they don't even they don't even show those in, in school anymore we don't even do chalkboards anymore yeah a co-worker was like you guys don't do chalkboards anymore and I was like Ever, when we moved to the old school they stopped doing chalkboards because they just don't want to be old school anymore. And 
but like the things that we that you go with old school they just get rid of in the future i remember in our class we had this one it was like this one thing i don't i don't remember what it was called you place a paper down like two sheets of paper then you would trace it and there's a lamp over it literally today you'd have to put a paper on the um window and you have to trace it that was way hard and that was way harder like the other ones we had back at my old school it was way more easier and it was awesome i also remember when i was in fifth grade i was like bro bro i don't i do not want to go to middle school yeah i was nervous to be in middle school i said this bro i just i can just stay in the in, in the fifth grade for a long time and I was like, no, I'll just go into middle school. And then I was excited to go to middle school. And being in middle school was pretty much fun. And it's just, it's insane that I'm out of school. And, like, it does feel great being out of school, but then you just miss it. That's because, that's because you're, you're focusing on um, other plans. And the thing, and being out of school does definitely hit different. And yes... I want to go back to all those fun times I've had, like that one time when I, when I met my friends at the concession stand. It was kind of cringe and weird, but it was, it's just, it's kind of funny to like think about that. And then there was a the time when I went to this one school, all I did was just walk around and stand around and then they introduced me to them and they still know who I am at, exactly. But yeah, it's, it's just crazy that it was like that long ago too. and. I remember when I was a junior, I didn't, I didn't even have friends from other, from other schools. I didn't get friends from other schools to like, actually, I've had friends from other school before, but this wasn't like, this is like, this wasn't like when I got way more friends around uh, my senior year. There's even some people that I don't really, that I don't really remember meeting because sometimes it's kind of hard to remember people and it feels a little awkward. And yes, it does, but usually, it does feel weird when you don't know but i guess i guess usually when you get older it's just not the same anymore as much and like i'm like usually i'm pretty sure as a kid time does go slow and then when you do some other things time just goes too fast yeah it's already august it's let's see we have september october november december so we have like four more months until the new year and it's crazy and, and you know you know will, will, will be the other thing Five years ago it would have been 2020 yeah you see that's when that's when life started to like go downhill for everybody dude like after 2020 everything changed like it, that's when everything like, like like completely changed I remember the um, COVID pandemic we all got into a lockdown everybody had to stay home we we couldn't do parties we had to stay home from school everybody pretty much loved that it was it I mean it was kind of fun but there was like I keep on hearing that there was gonna be a new disease coming soon for a lockdown. I don't know. I guess we'll find out soon eventually. But yeah, I mean, time goes way too fast. Even if you weren't even born in those times, time just goes too fast. Like SpongeBob was created 25 years ago. I wasn't even born 25 years ago. His first movie is not even 20 years old yet. And it was. And the funny thing is, I was born in the same year as SpongeBob's movie. But it came out in November. I came out July 14th, so I'm a couple months older than SpongeBob's first movie. And yeah, so that's that's another thing. That time is going way too fast, dude. And it's like I was 15 five years ago. Now I'm 20. Like I am 20, and it's like time is going way too fast. I wish time can just slow down, but you can't always slow down time. Nope. We all wish to grow up, and then as we get older, we wish we were kids again. Man, you know, I wish I was a kid again. I wish I was like, I wish I was like in sixth grade or a freshman. That was that was awesome being a freshman. I loved being a freshman. I wish I was in eighth grade. Did y'all did y'all ever like go on that like Washington um, D.C. trip? Literally one of the best trips I've ever had in school. It was the best. It was awesome. And the thing is, like going on those memories they just go on too fast like the dc trip was awesome i remember that one of my friends pulled up a movie it was diary of a wimpy kid Roger wolves that's like one of my favorite movies from the wimpy kid series but it was it was that it, it, it was fun but time just goes way too fast and then as you get older you start the your life life starts to hit different and then you're out in, into the real world 
because everybody's at school and that's actually a part of growing up and you can't always go back to something you want to if you already made a mistake you can't go back but as you get older you start to learn from it I've made some mistakes in the past but I just I learn them when I learn them in the future and it it happens to, to all of us some people like still get like pretty anxious after when they did something they instantly regret it but as you get older you just start to learn from it and it happens sometimes I wish I can go back but I can't because that's actually a part of growing up as you get older time just goes too fast time just goes way too fast sometimes time just has to slow down but you can't slow down time you just gotta do what you gotta do because pretty much in the future you could lo lose your friends not because of fights because if they had the future jobs they would be doing doing that way more and then you wouldn't really hang out a lot and that's scary I have a lot of friends now but in the future I'm pretty sure they're not gonna be a around as much when they um, get older and just a reminder, always hang out with your friends you love before they disappear when you, when you get older. Because sometimes you can't always go back after when your friends leave. If you want to listen to more podcasts, leave a like and subscribe.